Hi guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. I'm going to look at the Cancer Man. Or who, whoever's dating a Cancer Man. Or whatever. Whatever we can get out of it. We'll see. Ancestors. Ancestors. Give me the energy for the Cancer Man. Ancestors. Ancestors. Energy of the Cancer Man. Square. Creates tension, stalls, sounds the alarm, motivates, pressures into, frustrates, demands, struggles, rhetorics, whatever that is, hurts, works out, reconciles. That's the energy. Reconcile. But this, per I'll, I'll go on and tell you what I think of that. This person's operating out of the fifth house of passion, performance, entertainment, creativity, play, love affairs, passion, pleasure, parties, children, humor, romance, disco ball. Over here. So that's the energy that we're getting right here. Your cancer male right now, um, for some reason, could be in a state where they maybe unknowingly, or maybe they just don't care that they kind of create tension, right? The very demanding. Sometimes this person can say things that are hurtful. This person probably works out a lot, but also hurts often, but is okay with reconciling. So that's the challenge. For this cancer male just trying to come to the understanding that they do create create some sort of tension and they feel like you know it feels like maybe they pressure people the other side to it is the passion of theirs is just entertainment performing they could be they could be somebody who's like I don't know, maybe they have a food truck or maybe they maybe they're a chef, they do certain designs, maybe they're a decorator. You know, maybe they come up with um different designs for well, you know, I see people on amusement parks, just innovative ways of of expressing enjoyment. So it just says that they're very creative and that also pertains to love affairs and pleasure. This is your cancer male. Okay. Tell me more about this cancer male. Ancestors, tell me more about this cancer male. Tell me more about this cancer male. Ancestors, who is this cancer male that we're looking into? Spiritual strength. So the cancer male is a water sign and they do typically hope to seek out a higher being. They search. And they search for fulfillment. And that's why a lot of them tend to refer to um, spirituality because they, because they know there's a higher being out there that assists them. So they're very intuitive in that sense and willing to, willing to understand that there's something else out there. Whether or not they act on it. Eh. All right. Tell me more about this... Uh, this cancer male, okay, that one came out. Mm. Okay, so this this cancer male could actually, like we were just saying before, be psychic. They like to find healing. They like to find just balance, right? And they like to understand things in in its entirety. So it talks about just, you know, having insight, that extra insight where they're able to kind of finagle their way. They know it's there, but whether or not they pay attention to it again. So that talks about like harmony, just trying to like bring everything together. Stand your ground. 
this message to me talks about maybe some things that happened in the past or maybe there were some habits they had in the past or maybe there were some you know it could have been financial it could have been uh, you know unfortunately with affairs of the heart and it looks like there's some kind of attempt to have more strength over it right I'm gonna empower myself to make sure that I utilize my spiritual strength that I know I have along with my third eye to see when these things are getting out of control or taking control of me or they could have some impact on my on my family or my my you know my wife my kids or my boyfriend my girlfriend or what it is I'm trying to do in my career I'm gonna stand my ground and make sure that this is not an issue anymore so I think that's kind of like part of the space that your cancer man is in that trying to take control and trying to really um, fight off some of the demons such as you know closing people out emotional loss you know this person right now could could just be suffering some sort of internal conflict there's some sort of instability here with emotion it's almost like well, when it's emotional loss, it doesn't exist. So I think that's something that this person is struggling with. And it because it definitely talks about conflict there with emotional loss. Okay. Show me the cancer man's heart. Ancestors. How are dark in here? Ancestors. Uh -oh. Tell me more about the cancer man's emotional loss. Why is there an emotional loss? Tell me more. I don't know if this thing is going to work. It's been charging. Sorry, guys. Just trying to understand. Okay. Ancestors. Ancestors. I apologize. Ancestors. Give me more information on the emotional loss. Give me more information on emotional loss of the cancer male. Tell me more about what contributed to it. Tell me more. Ancestors. Tell me more. Ace of Swords, some sort of clarity that was needed. They got the clarity that they, they needed to kind of maybe step away. It could be that or it could be the loss of a parent, a sibling, unfortunately a child. It could be... It could be them trying to really um, deal with the shadow self, with these challenges where they know that they kind of create conflict. But they're trying to stand emotional loss. I mean, I look at it this way. Emotional loss is when you don't overreact to everything. And I think that's what this is. That's what I'm getting out of this. I don't think this is a, a literal, oh, oh, I think now they start to understand that, guess what? I do not have to react to every situation. I don't have to be a part of it. I'm not wasting my energy on things that don't serve me, things that don't matter. So I think that's where they are. You're going to see them dismissing a lot of things that they probably would have reacted to before. Okay. All right. So I think this is them trying to get their, their passion intact, trying to make sure they don't, you know, attempt to like, it's about, it's kind of like highlighting, oh yeah, I'm this I'm this amazing person. I, I socialize with everybody. I have a great wife. But, you know, I think one of the scriptures say, let not your evil, let not your good be evil spoken of. So sometimes if you're this great, great husband, great father, but, you know, you may overdo it with the drinks a little bit and, uh, you know, say some things or, or come across as inappropriate when you're really not being inappropriate. It's really about trying to kind of tame that a little bit. So I think the emotional loss is not overreacting to things.